Okay, so it's July 4th, July 3rd actually. Price on sale for less than 50 bucks. The TrendNet wireless HD day and night cloud camera. Since it uses the uh, micro SD, I bought a 32 gig also for seven dollars today. So we're gonna okay, set it up. inside the box. We have the uh, CD, the camera, the power for the camera, and the Ethernet cable, and the mounting hardware. Okay. So let's see if we can configure this. First, we need to read the instruction. So, first thing we want to do is to plug in the power and then the Ethernet cable. Now we're going to go to our computer and see if we can micro SD is here right I'm gonna put in eight and see what happened okay let's see what well, we plug in the um, CD and this is Mac I'll copy time and see install wizard here I don't know if it's gonna work install camera agree Write down the MAC address of your camera. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's very nice. All right, I plugged it in already. Allow. Oh, it's not there. Camera is not found. Yeah, it's on the network. All right, so now you can find it. Good job. So I'm going to change new password. Okay. Minimum eight. Okay. So let's create a desktop. So I come to here. That's pretty good. What about this one? Okay. Wow, this one is for Mac too. It's nice. I like it. All right, open. Install. Please close Safari. Okay. All right, it's done. Open it up. This one right here. So we're going to put this one. We're going to put this one into our reading. So it's kind of like. Walking. Wow. Uh, camera from where we recommend it. All right. Ooh, I can hear the voice too. Do not turn off the power. So I'm not turning it off. So it took about maybe four minutes. So log back in. Okay, so it's quite clear setting. Okay, let's check the setting. So this is the setting you want. I want to add a new user. Motion detection. Sensitivity. What is this? Uh, 
All right, let's see. All right, let's redo this. Motion detection. Uh, trust. Ah, motion detection. Start from here all the way. All right. Apply. Wireless setup. Enable wireless. So camera restarting. And see everything here. That's pretty good. So another 71 seconds. Okay. That's fine. It's a little slow. Done. We're going to disconnect the network cable between the camera and the router. I'm going to do it now. And close. The car plug-in is not rewritable. You can't even click this one. There's the recording. Make sure you disable. And okay, apply. Let's unplug it and then bring it back on. Okay. All right. After we unplug and plug it back in. We're going to go to the action and make sure the recording is not enabled, okay? Now, it said right here, unavailable. I want to put back in my 32 gig. Brand new. All right, it's in. Now let's refresh. So now it said, please reformat SD card. Now we can click the button. Before we couldn't click this button. Okay. So you better have my um, 32 gig there. Wow, motion detect. I didn't, I didn't have any motion detection there. So now it's available. Look at this, 30 gig. So we're ready. Now we can go to recording and click enable and make sure we click recycle so it keep recycling, okay? Apply. All right, so it's all done. Very simple. All right, I'm going to bring this one downstairs. Now let's look at the live view. Is it still alive? Okay, it's still there. After we tested the motion detection, they recorded two. And very nice. With voice and everything. Let's see, full screen. Very clear. So it's kind of dark. And this is what it looks like. 